Cody's lawn service here. Um, I wanted to ask you guys a question um, as far as accounts and clients go. Um, I wanted to know how you guys get your clients. Like, do you go door to door and knock, or do you just get a bunch of business cards and put one in each mailbox as you just walk th uh, neighborhood through? Um, I wanted to ask you guys, um, I just got back from, I probably put about 250 out, me and my worker, uh, just went down each side of the street and put out about 250 business cards inside the mailboxes. Um, hopefully I'll get some calls back from some of those, I mean, I don't know. It may be just a little bit too early for me to start going out and doing it. I'm going to wait all the way up until the weekend before March 1st, which is the weekend before my birthday, to uh, to go and put some more out. I'm going to wait and see if I get any calls out of this one, and if not, then I mean, I'm just going to have to, I guess, go door-to-door -door advertising, asking people, um, because I mean, I really don't have much options left. I mean, I've got a total of 10 clients right now, and I still need 20 more to fill up that week, and then I need 30 more for the next week to fill up that. I mean, I know getting clients takes time, but I'm really trying to push it to get more clients now than I ever have before. I'm trying to... I cut an average of about eight lawns a, a week last year. So, I'm trying to uh, more so triple more so triple my client base each week or double actually or yeah actually no it would be triple because if you think about it I almost basically had 10 and I'm trying to triple that amount to 30 a week so I mean I'm basically trying to triple my amount each week to cut um, so I can get my plans off the ground I mean if I can get 30 a, 30 a week's my goal, but if I can get at least 20 a week, I would be more than happy with it. Um, if I get just 20 a week, then I mean, it's not going to put me to where I can buy all the equipment that I've showed you guys. I'd probably have to back off of buying a mower. Um, probably just end up having to get one new one um, instead of two. But um, I got a little surprise for you guys in the next couple weeks about mowers. Um, I'm gonna, I actually... Here in the next couple weeks, I'm going to go look at a used mower, and you guys will probably be pretty surprised if I end up getting it. It's another walk behind. It's a Toro brand, but I'm not going to mention how much I'm going to get it for. I'm going to wait and let you guys guess whenever I bring it back. Um, but, I mean, I just want to kind of hear you guys on how you guys get your clients. I know, uh... I know the exterminator is starting up his this year, or maybe he started some last year, but I know that he's trying to get a good client's base. I know how he gets his. Um, I know I want to hear from anyone that's watching the video on how they would get their clients. I'm really interested in seeing it um, and hearing about it because I really want to work out to where I can get more clients this year than I ever had before. And I mean, I know I'm probably going to get some people tell me taking clients takes a couple of years to get a good client's base going. Well, I'm going to try to defy the odds and beat that and get more than what I ever had before. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know what the question is. Um, share your guys' thoughts about it in the comments below. Even if you want to message me, I mean, let me know. Because I've got ad, I've got several different ads in different categories on Craigslist. I've posted it on a couple local Facebook uh, sales pages and stuff. Um, it's got removed from a couple of them that has a lot more client base to it. I guess because they don't allow businesses to advertise on there. I'm not so sure. Um, but I mean, the Craigslist one, I've had two or three people call me. But, I mean, I've even put in a description, you know, just in the Helena area, which is my city uh, that I live in, which is a smaller town. But, I mean, there's a good twelve to 15,000 people here. And probably about 35 to 60% in between that number somewhere, people have pay someone to come and cut their lawn. I mean, just in my subdivision alone, there's over a 1,000 homes. So, uh, 
let me guys know what you guys do. I mean, maybe I'm doing something wrong as far as uh, putting out. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I need to go door to door and knock. And if they're not home, just leave it in the mailbox then. Um, but let me guys know what you guys think about it, because um, I'm not so sure. Uh, I put probably about 250 out today. I mean, I know I'm not going to get calls right away. But I did put out about 60 a couple weeks ago and did not get a call back at all. Which, the uh, the timing may not be right. I mean, it, we did have just a bunch of snow come in a couple days ago, um, which is very odd for our area. But, I mean, this next week or so, it's supposed to be nothing but 60 and 70 degree weather. So that may get people thinking about spring and possibly thinking about lawn care. But... Like I said before, share your guys' thoughts and just let me know something. So don't forget to comment, uh, rate, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for vi more videos soon, guys.